These are some of the most out there heists you've ever heard of. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 odd things that people manage to steal. For this list, we're looking at some of the most curious thefts to have ever been reported. Pointless items, comically oversized ones, for the purposes of our list today, we're only interested in things that make you think how and why would anyone steal that? Number 10. A Shark Stealing a living creature is always tricky, but when it's one that requires water to survive, that takes some serious burglary skills. In 2008, a rare marble cat shark was reported stolen in the UK from the private aquarium of Peter Newman. This female specimen and her mate were estimated to be worth just shy of 100,000 US dollars at the time, as they were the only known breeding pair in the entire country. Since the culprits only made off with the female, however, Newman put her individual value closer to between nineteen dollars and $20,000. At two feet in length, this shark wasn't something the burglar in question could just slip into their coat. Number 9. A whole bunch of manhole covers But in one Detroit neighborhood, someone has been ripping off manhole covers, putting innocent people in danger. Have you ever tried to lift off the cover of a manhole? If you don't have the right tool, it's nearly impossible. And even then, it's one seriously laborious task, since they weigh about 110 pounds each. Catch basin covers are easier to lift, weighing about 40 pounds, but that's still not a walk in the park. For months, scrappers have been picking apart the old Jones Elementary School. When they got everything of value inside, they went outside and started stealing the manhole covers. For us to keep safe, not for them to steal, and for them to make money off of. Given the relatively low resale value of these items, the average crook wouldn't bother with one, let alone 300 of them. At most, you can get between 15 to $20 for it. And by the way, you gotta keep in mind that some of these uh, grades actually weigh up to 300 pounds. But citing a desperate need for money, that's roughly how many manhole and catch basin covers Efren de Leon Barrios and Antonio Lopez stole from the Los Angeles area in the 1990s before being apprehended. Manhole covers are often made out of cast iron. They are heavy, weighing more than 200 pounds. But if you can get a buck for it, thieves will take it. But not all scrapyards are willing to pay them. We don't buy them. You don't buy them? No, they're illegal to buy. Number eight, an inflatable gorilla. We have been going ape over this for the past few days, but uh, now that the crime is solved, we're much happier. This one is a real head scratcher. While the potential for resale, be it large or small, was obvious in the previous two entries, we can't imagine much of a market for a giant blow up gorilla. Leslie, good morning. And Mr. Pickles is perched where he belongs here at First Kia. And everybody at the dealership is thrilled. And I tell you, the students. Since they had big smiles on their faces today, the folks here are smiling, and even the police are having a hard time keeping a straight face. It would seem in this case of grand theft inflatable primate, the criminals in question did it for a laugh. In Simi Valley, California in 2010, employees at the local Kia dealership came into work to find their 30-foot tall, 350-pound gorilla missing. It's an unforgettable way to start a Friday at Royal High. Whoever did it, um, give him a pat on the back, that was pretty funny. It was later located at the local high school, prompting police to believe that it was a prank by members of the student body. Number 7. Entire ATMs Automated teller machines are frequently targeted by criminals, but usually they tamper with the machines in order to steal information from the cards of clients. Apparently, however, there are some less tech-savvy burglars who opt instead to take the heavy-lifting approach and acquire cold hard cash by making off with the entire ATM. Given that the average machine can hold up to $200,000, that's a pretty big haul. But the thieves in question will need to bring along some serious muscle, as the machines can weigh several hundred pounds. As you can probably imagine, it's rarely what you would call a smooth operation. Number 6. A Whole Condom Dispenser the very affordable easel stand is specifically designed for Capital City's original small condom dispenser. It allows the condom dispenser to be freestanding on a counter or tabletop instead of mounting to a wall. ATMs, we get it. You can never have too much money. But is anybody actually making enough love to justify needing an entire prophylactic dispenser? Unlikely. But clearly the unknown thief who absconded with the condom dispenser from the women's bathroom at Oxnard College in California had big ambitions when it came to their personal life. Now, to be fair, they could have been after the change that would have been in the machine, but that likely wouldn't have been a huge score. Either way, talk about inconveniencing your fellow bathroom patrons. Number 5. Bees 
Yeah, you heard that right. And we're not talking about a kid catching a bumblebee in a mason jar and trying to keep it as a pet. We're talking a lot of bees. So imagine his shock when he discovered thieves stole 184 hives containing more than 5 million bees in Saint-Valère next to Victoriaville. According to police, Pavel Tavretnyov stole nearly a million dollars worth of beehives, complete with bees, over the course of a three-year period. 2,500 beehives are missing, the biggest bee theft case they have ever seen. Madera County investigators arrested 51-year-old Pavel Vertinov. You see, bees are crucial pollinators for a wide variety of crops, and their populations are dropping. Looking to corner the California market, this man reportedly stole roughly 2,500 hives and was then renting them out to crop producers. Thankfully, the sticky-fingered man was caught and his bee racket put to a stop. The NBC2 finding out more than 240 hives were reported stolen in Lehigh Acres, a huge loss to the beekeepers who depend on that profit. Number four, tons of beach sand. Let's go to the beach, eat, let's go get a wave. They say what they gonna say. Where's the beach? It's a question you might ask the front desk when you arrive at your hotel, but it's not something you should be able to say when you're already standing on it. In 2008, police in Jamaica were left scratching their heads when hundreds of tons of sand were removed from the shoreline where a new resort was being built. Back in 2008, uh, Jamaicans stole about 500 truckloads of sand from one particular beach. No, the beach is gone. That's pretty badass, I'll give it to the Jamaicans. It's been estimated that the thieves somehow made off with 500 dump trucks worth of this stuff and likely sold it to competing resorts, making a tidy profit in the process. Apparently, illegal sand mining is a real problem around the world. The exploitation of sand endangers the survival of thousands of Indonesian families. And that's only the first of its adverse effects. Number three, maple syrup. Our next story is one of the weirdest thefts we've ever come across. A heist, where the loot was something no one ever thought to protect. Maple syrup. Thieves certainly have a taste for the sweet stuff. Unlike with the bees and honey, however, maple syrup comes with a significantly lower risk of getting stung. No trip to the province of Quebec, Canada is complete if you haven't sampled the maple syrup and bought some to bring home. In 2012, though, someone took more than their fair share and neglected to pay. Some $18 million worth of maple syrup was stolen from a warehouse in Saint-Louis-de-Blanfort, where a reserve of the valuable substance was being stored in massive quantities. Thankfully, the culprits were apprehended. Quebec police have been busy this week making arrests in a theft that has made international headlines because the crime was so unique. $18 million worth of maple syrup was stolen from a storage warehouse. Number two, a patent tank. The key to committing the perfect crime is to go unnoticed. Get in, get out, and leave no trace behind. Sadly, that's not possible when the item in question is a military tank. Fun fact, apparently M60A3 patent tanks don't need a key to start. It's just a push button, and getting the hatch open can be achieved with a crowbar. While taking a tank for a joyride might sound like a good time, this story is anything but humorous. In 1995, Army vet Sean Nelson stole a tank from the United States National Guard Armory in San Diego, California, leading police on a chase that ended tragically. Before we unveil our most bizarre number one pick, here are some head-scratching honorable mentions. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. A Bridge Outrage in Egypt tonight as it was discovered that the Great Pyramid of Giza had been stolen and replaced by a giant inflatable replica. There is panic throughout the globe as countries and citizens try to protect their beloved landmarks. Law enforcement still has no leads, leaving everyone to wonder which of the world's villains is responsible for this heinous crime. And where will he strike next? It might sound like something from Despicable Me, but life is often stranger than fiction. 
Somehow, a group of thieves broke down and removed a 10-ton bridge in Slavkov, Czech Republic, leaving a replacement cost in the millions of dollars behind them. The sneaky thieves knew what they were doing when they arrived to claim the bridge, and 650 feet of track as their own. They even had their paperwork in order. The only problem was, the documents were forged. By the time someone realized, the thieves were long gone with their massive scrap metal haul. Turns out, this is more common than you'd think. It also happened in Turkey. The hottest trend among thieves is uh, stealing bridges. Uh, oh, fun. If you're looking to make a quick buck, all you gotta do is dismantle a huge bridge. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.